have the um, Arcade, if I can get the co-founder of Arcade, David Sherry, please. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm David. I've come a long way for right now. I uh, just got off the boat, actually. Um, hey, so yeah, we're Arcade. Um, I don't know if this is the right page, so I'm just going to... See if I find us. There we are. Workplace Arcade, and we guarantee retailers and uplift in sales. I want you to think for a second the last time that you were served by a retail employee who was pretty awful. Yeah. Didn't make you want to buy more, did it? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> when you complain to the manager. Uh, the problem is with retail right now, globally, is that 70% of all their employees are actually not engaged and don't care when they're serving their customers. And that's just a fact. That means that 70% of all customer, customers are not buying at their full potential. Just like you and I when we get served by someone who's pretty poor. But before we go slagging the, uh, the retail employees, I am actually a retail employee myself. And you know what the most frustrating thing was? How good I was when I first started and really cared and how frustratingly average I became as I disengaged over time. You see... Nobody wants to suck. Nobody wants to suck at their job, whether you're a C-level employee or a retail shop person. So what we do at um, Workplace Arcade is we empower retail salespeople to actually do the best in their job. Because we know when they're more engaged, sorry, I've skipped, because through Workplace, what we want in the workplace is we want recognition that we're doing the right thing. We want to feel like we're progressing towards something. And we want to collaborate and we want to feel part of a community and a team. And when we're more engaged, we actually sell more uh, because our customers have better experiences. So Workplace Arcade is a SaaS solution that turns retail sales, uh, that engages retail salespeople and equips them with the tools they need to do the best in their job. Uh, so that's as simple as things like where we automatically recognize employees on a company-wide feed when they do really well, hit their targets. In any time in the day, they can see their sales targets, how they're tracking towards the month, their daily averages, where they need to improve. They can see how they're progressing. As soon as they make a sale, they earn points. They're in constant battle against their coworkers in daily and monthly competitions um, built on an actual game engine by a PhD in game science. Uh, we have full enterprise communication. We instantly connect the entire organization. You're talking about retail who has thousands of outlets company-wide. We instantly connect everybody. But it's not just about providing a chat tool for retail. We actually provide the managers with in-depth, real-time insights on what their employees are talking about. So it's fully transparent. Instead of twiddling their thumbs, checking Facebook when the store's quiet, they can embark on sales missions, which are like uh, training games where they, managers can set up to teach them on product and sales um, training. And they can win extra points through that. The game is constantly being updated with new badges and new content. We treat ourselves like a full game company. Um, there's automatic sales quests that are generated per employee uh, that are based on their propensity to sell to help them reach their own goals. Um, and at the end of the day, we partner with national cinema chains. We partner with Uber, ASOS, Amazon. So in real time, employees win real rewards that they redeem from their mobile. Um, and that comes at no extra cost to the business. Their managers have in-depth insights into all of their analytics for their team, instant communication, and, um, and training insights. We've already seen 37% same source sales uplift in retailers like Samsung and all phones because it's, <laughs> thank you. It requires no integrations to get started. They can integrate both their HR and their POS system, but they don't need to, to get started. We're a basic tier based model uh, for any retailer of any size, so we're flexible from 50 to 50,000 users. Um, and Compared to our competition, we're the only company that can actually quantify our ROI because we actually bring sales uplift. Everyone else just tries to uh, streamline rostering processes and HR processes. We only launched six months ago in April, and already we have customers like Under Armour, Samsung, Costco Mobile. Thank you. Uh, we get an average of $15 per employee per month. We have uh, about 800 employees right now annually contracted on the system and about 124,000 employees in our Q1 pipeline. Um, I'm the chief hustler. Uh, James McLaren and I, we built this from the shop floor. 
Uh, we have Dr. Mariga Raftopoulos, who's a PhD in gamification on our team. And retailers are scared to death because 62% of all retail salespeople are now millennials, and that's growing. And our mission is to ensure that 100% of the 5.5 million salespeople in America feel empowered to do the best every day. We're Workplace Arcade. Thank you. Boy, I had to rush that. <laughs> You mentioned you had partnerships with companies like Amazon for rewards. What do those partnerships look like and what do those companies get out of it? Good question. So we, for instance, with Amazon, with Village Cinema Chains, we talk to them. We say we have retail salespeople in a number of malls around the country. Um, we Essentially what we get from them is not free product. We get discounted wholesale products. So we treat ourselves as a wholesaler. Um, and then we take a percentage of the pay, so 10% of the actual user wage, so payment that they pay us, back into the game as tokens, which players win as they do the right thing, and then they can redeem for those prizes at commercial price. We also have a portal that allow the company to actually spend more money, because they have these million dollar incentive budgets, they can actually spend more money in our system and buy tokens, and we take a 10% clip on that. For Amazon, they just get more products, so they get, just get more things sold for them. For a cinema chain, we basically sell the fact that they have retail sales reps in the center that they have the cinema chain in, you know, and after work, they're gonna bring their friends. Um, but like I said, it's not that they're giving us free stuff, we just get it wholesale. Is there a way to, um, is there a way to also integrate current reviews into your system, like for instance, educate your uh, salespeople, like this pant is running large, are you sure you have the right size, that kind of stuff, into uh, the final sale? Are you talking about inventory and yeah. like logistics? Well, no, the final sale, so when the customer, you know, rings it up, instead of just using this to motivate, also educate the, also use it as a tool to educate the salesperson on the current reviews, like this is running too small, this is running too large, that kind of thing, because the review system is one of the biggest reasons for why people also look online, right? Uh, so review, reviews in terms of customer reviews? Uh, product reviews. Product Pro reviews? Online product oh, reviews. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. No, not at this stage we don't do that, but definitely we have sales data from the company, from all these companies. We have all their lifetime sales data. In a lot of cases, we have all their HR data as well. Um, so that's definitely an avenue that we can take. Uh, over here, awesome product, uh, awesome concept, love what you're doing. Thanks. Question is, uh, why Dallas? And how did you get started? And are you actually from around here and you're just putting on an accent? I'm, I'm more so just curious. Uh, Dallas, look around. This is why Dallas, because I love you guys. <laughs> no, so I've been based out of San Francisco the last five months. We had some funding over there. Um, and one thing I learned very quickly, being connected, well, we're actually from Australia. We've got customers in Australia and Asia. Uh, I came from the shop floor, like I said, working as a casual on the shop floor for a company who I pitched this to. They didn't want to buy of it, and now they're our customer, paying us more than any of our other customers. Yeah, exactly. That's where we came from. Um, we moved to America as soon as we got proof of concept because the Australian market is profitable as it is. It's just not our main market as America is. Um, and when I was in San Francisco, I learned very quickly that paying two and a half thousand dollars a month for a bed uh, in a world where I don't have any customers to sell to um, and not many people in the retail space, it probably wasn't the best place to, to really infiltrate the US market. So we connected to the RevTech team down here who really have a great, have a great uh, you know, reputation and, and uh, a lot of experience in growing businesses here in the US and that's why we're here because this is the center of retail. So we've got a couple of employees now here in Dallas um, and I'm staying here for a little bit to help yeah, really establish the, the office here. Yeah, and that's why we're here. I was, I was gonna ask the same question. Sure. So um, I, I read somewhere that you have an office now here. Yeah, well, so. we're, we're actually operating out of the deck, so that's our office at the moment. Which is another great place. <laughs> so, does this work in smaller stores, the higher end smaller stores where you have only one or two employees? I'll give an example. Let's say the Allen Edmonds store for shoes for men, right? Yeah. So, there's usually a guy there or two guys. There's no competition really. So, no, there's uh, certain, there certainly is. So, it's actually connecting all the stores. So, if it's a multi chain retailer, even if it's a couple of chains, they're all connected. Um, we have stores like Costco, Mobile. Their mobile department has like, sometimes they're only one person manning the booth. 
Um, but it's still engaging for them because suddenly they're connected to all the other Costco mobile people in the country. Okay, so most retail that I go into, cell phones are like totally frowned upon for the employees to carry around and like openly have going. Yeah. So how do you kind of get away from that stigma? Well, we're multi it. Yeah, good, good question. We're multi-platform, so we're available on the desktop. So we've got a big company here in the US we're working with who we're actually on their POS system so they don't have that problem. If you're a cell phone retailer, usually let your staff have phones on the shop floor so they appreciate having something that is work-related. Thank you.